Mouse Utopia was a highly criticized work that was trying to figure out what would happen if we had unlimited resources, but limited space. It was supposed to describe what would happen if human populations got too large. The results mimic a lot of what we see in today's society, and it is very disturbing. Between the 50s and 70s, Calhoun worked on these giant terrariums. The mice would have unlimited access to food, and their populations could grow as large as they wanted, but they always had the same result. The population would always collapse, but some really bizarre behaviors came in along with them. At first, the populations would grow exponentially until they were overcrowded. But they didn't just fight each other. No, they developed factions. Some mice would take over an extraordinary amount of space, and they wouldn't actually reproduce. They called these the pretty ones or the beautiful ones. They would spend all of their time grooming, while the rest of them just fought it out on the central floor. At that point, the mice would become very stressed, and they would forget how to become mice, how to be parents. It was described that some mice would just leave their offspring wherever. They would end up injuring themselves. They would end up injuring each other. Young mice didn't actually fit in with the higher structures of the adults, so they would battle it out. They believed at this time that they were fighting for some kind of hierarchy. They called these maladaptive behaviors behavioral sinks. And it's been hypothesized to match what happens when human society ends up in a situation where there is no upward mobility. Psychologically speaking, we get to a point in society where all of the roles to play are filled and people feel disenfranchised. There's no social ladder to climb any longer. At the end of the experiment, the populations would always decline to extinction. No matter how many times they ran it, no matter how many times they tweaked the conditions, once it started on that decline, it never recovered. You might think, but they have space now and they still have unlimited food. Why did they stop reproducing? The idea is that they just forgot how to be mice. No one taught them how to be a good parent and it was simply lost from them. The disenfranchisement continues all the way to extinction. The same experiment was repeated with other animals like rats, although the rat experiment turned out worse. Yeah, it was kind of gruesome. Rats are also highly intelligent. Now, this research has been criticized because it can't really apply to people, despite the fact we see similar things happening. What I find interesting is how well it matches human behaviors. We are seeing global birth decline. For the most part, we're not running from tigers and bears. We don't have a predator and prey cycle, and we do have an aging population where a group kind of takes all of the resources. So if there's no way to get into a higher social rung, if it's all just an illusion and you can work and never reach it, what is the point? People get their educations, and that's often considered the cause of what is wrong with society. People aren't reproducing because we're trying so hard to be successful that having offspring kind of comes later. And we have a deteriorating world around us. So why have offspring if we're in the situation where the ecosystem is going to collapse? where that child is now going to have less opportunities than you did. These are all very serious considerations. And just making it more pleasant for people to have children, like making childcare available, like making healthcare available, that doesn't solve the larger problems that we're seeing. There's no solution to mass utopia. They never figured out the conditions in which we could have a sustainable population. A highly criticized experiment, maybe. But I think it does have a lot to say about how our society may collapse. It is interesting that they could never figure out how to recover it.